Hello everybody, my name is Enrique Grande. I am medical oncologist in Vision Madrid at the Quiron Salud a Cancer Network. And I had the privilege to present at this ESMOS 2025 in the beautiful Berlin, the results of the DISCUS trial. This is an academic phase two and randomized trial conducted in three countries, UK, France, and Spain, in which we recruited 267 patients in first-line metastatic erosilial cancer. Traditionally, we were using chemotherapy, platinum-based chemotherapy, to treat these patients, and we tried to give the more cycles as possible, thinking that maybe the more cycles will be translated into more responses, deeper responses, longer responses, uh, translated into a longest overall survival. However, the experience is telling us that uh, sometimes the later cycles, well, we didn't really had that responses, only for cumulative toxicity, and many patients were progressing during these later cycles. So the questions that we wanted to address at this discus trial is, how many cycles of platinum-based chemotherapy do we really need ahead of starting abelumab maintenance in the S scenario before we had enfortumab in Pembro? Okay. So uh, patients were randomized one-to-one -to, -one to receive a standard six cycles of platinum-based chemotherapy followed by up to two years of maintenance available for those patients with a clinical benefit versus the, um, well, the proposal that we had, three cycles only of platinum-based chemotherapy before starting available maintenance. Patients were stratified according to the presence or not of liver metastasis and also the choice of chemotherapy by the investigators. And the primary endpoint was patient focus. The primary endpoint was the quality of life, the mean in the change in the quality of life in between baseline and the uh, quality of life after six cycles of chemotherapy or the equivalent time point in the uh, three cycles arm only. We met this primary endpoint. The discus trial is positive, statistically speaking, with a p-value of 0.016. Uh, those patients who were randomized to three cycles only of chemotherapy did it better in terms of quality of life. These quality of life curves were separating from the early beginning since the patients uh, stop the chemotherapy and they maintain in time over time. Um, the thing is, is that detrimental in terms of efficacy? Well, the major outcomes in terms of activity were pretty similar. The overall survival corps largely overlaps. Median overall survival was exactly the same in the two groups, 18.9 months for both groups, three cycles versus three, six cycles. Hazard ratio for overall survival was 1.15. Hazard ratio for PFS was 1.05, so almost complete overlap of the corps. And in terms of responses, very similar responses were seen in both arms, 61% in the three cycles arm versus 59 in the six cycles arm. And interestingly, only 6% of patients have primary progression in the three cycles arm versus 10% in the six cycles arm. So we cannot really claim for the non-inferiority because of the design of the trial, but I think from the clinical perspective, we didn't really see uh, dramatic differences in the activity. So the conclusions of the discus trial, maybe this is practice changing, wherever EVP is not available to be offered to patients. If you need to use platinum-based chemotherapy in your patients followed by abelumab maintenance, well, the quality of life will be better if you diminish the number of sites, uh, the number of cycles, only three cycles would be enough without apparent detrimental activity in terms of uh, efficacy, in terms of uh, overall survival responses, etc. And you know, one of the best things of the DISCUS trial is that opens the door to do academic trial to de-escalate the current options that we have in the era of antibody drug conjugates. Thank you so much for your attention. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onca Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.